I hated amateur porn when I was younger. If I was going to pay good money to see a woman fuck, I wanted to see the most experienced and talented women on earth. I, uh, I looked at attending a concert by a magnificent world-renowned cellist over listening to some pimply-faced kid at a high school recital. Like, of course you'd rather jerk off to Yo-Yo Ma, right? It just made sense that if you were going to spend money to watch someone perform, you wanted to see the most talented performers the art form had to offer. I wanted to see the black diamond snatches of the world, which only the most talented and experienced men dared to ride. I wanted to beat off to chicks that would laugh at my inexperience and punish me should I have the nerve to attempt copulation with someone of their pedigree. There was something exciting about being on one end of the sexual experience spectrum and being able to peer into the world on the other extreme and see what I could enjoy one day if I just kept my nose to the grindstone and worked hard enough at it. I, I knew that these women were out there somewhere, and if I simply studied enough, I'd, I'd be ready should the day come that I finally met one of them. As my youth and innocence faded, I found myself enjoying amateur porn with inexperienced chicks that looked like they'd never seen an adult film, let alone acted in one. The kind of porn where you just know that the chick was going to regret doing it for the rest of her life. The kind where you could literally see the glazed over look of shame in her eyes behind the Zima-induced haze of apathy. It was almost as if my enjoyment of viewing the act was proportionate to the size of their inevitable regret of it. The more they'd hate themselves for that one time when they lost all self-respect and fucked on camera, the more excited I got while watching it. Perhaps it was the idea of rarity? When watching some famous porn diva put the one millionth cock into her stretched out coos, one doesn't get the feeling of witnessing anything original or unique. But when you're watching a young girl who has her whole life ahead of her and uh, she's hitting her own personal rock bottom while surrounded by four guys in a camera, there's, there's a certain amount of awe and wonderment involved. No one looks at the moon every night, but every douchebag comes outside and stares at the sky like a slack-jawed idiot for Haley's comment. I'm just saying. Plus, I got a thrill out of the knowledge that there are people out there who make terrible decisions with their life, just like me. Especially hot chicks. They could have had their world on a platter if they just knew what to do with it, but instead they ended up on their knees in the middle of a circle jerk. It makes me feel better about the bukkake spectacle I've made of my own life. My changing preference in pornography began to mirror itself in my sex partners. I, uh, I used to only sleep with older, more experienced women. I, I couldn't stand the inane chattering of youth that I had to put up with to fuck chicks my age anyway. I hated having to explain a sex position or ever hear the phrase, Ew, you want to do what? While in bed. I found comfort and enjoyment in those who knew what they wanted and were using me as much as I may have been using them. I always said that it was, I was looking for the female version of me, the, the kind of chick who had more abortions under her belt than I have tattoos under mine. Somewhere along the way that changed. When I actually did come across the female version of me, sex was as exciting as masturbation. It was, it, it was like I needed something to rejuvenate my innocence and vitality, or, or at least remind me of what it was like to do something for the first time. I... I found myself seeking out my lost innocence between the legs of those who still had theirs. The problem was finding young, moderately innocent women who were attracted to me without being batshit crazy. Because when you weigh 200 pounds, you're relegated to chicks with daddy issues or women with a past history of sexual abuse. So what I was actually relegated to is my amateur porn, to watching the wilting of a young girl's innocence as if it were a lily in Hiroshima on August 6th, 1945, and, and shock waves were loads of splooge. I abused myself while they looked up through the tears and semen to give the camera a pathetic smile, and I remembered what it was like to have something left to run. It's a... It's a sad moment in your life when the only thing you long for is one shred of dignity left to destroy. I was like an empty bladder gazing upon fields of yellow snow. In Gabriella, I saw a mountainside of fresh powder. <laughs>